giant crowds and Kyle Larson racing at the dirt side live with Kenny Wallace. Everything was just going amazingly. Just knocks it out of the park. Six figure cash in positive in the bank, potentially. I don't know. Big money made, I'm assuming. I believe T- Texas Motor Speedway ho- holds around the 20,000 or 15,000 mark in their grandstands. It's a huge facility, amazing facility. Uh, so I'm assuming everybody made money on all ends of the books. Coming to Sunday night, however, they go over here to RPM Speedway. This is some little, just a little clipping on their, their Facebook page. RPM Speedway, quarter mile racetrack in Crandall, Texas. Uh, you could be in downtown Dallas and potentially to this track in about 30 minutes. Maybe, I would say, and this track is a fast little quarter mile. I know some people watched it, and in my opinion, when I saw this on the schedule, I was like, this is going to be one of the best races in the world. You got Martin Edwards down there doing the dirt work, uh, and the Edwards family, if you don't know who that is, those are the people who put the Chili Bowl track together and make it every year, and look how phenomenal that racing surface is. It's going to be hard to beat, you know, how good those guys can do a racetrack, and especially Steve Neighbors taking over the facility, uh, kind of, you know, wheeling that deal all together. It's a really good group of guys down there that deserve a lot of respect for keeping that scene going. And then when they get a big event like this, should deserve the respect of the entire DFW racing scene to show up to the damn racetrack and support the event. Even though we had this race at RPM Speedway, this amazing action-packed race, potentially trying to be the World of Outlaws or equal, equal to the World of Outlaws, You had an issue in the grandstands here at RPM Speedway, which I became offended about. The the, the grandstands were not good. The grandstands were not great. Um, And I hear a lot of people giving me reasons as to why, but we're going to talk about those reasons. And we wanted to talk about those reasons, so we put a Facebook page or a Facebook post up on my uh, on my personal Facebook page here. And I said, the crowd at RPM is wow small for high limit racing. Hopefully looking to get some questions as to why, because obviously I got a lot of friends that will be seeing this post, so I guess I'll get a response from the thousands or so Texas people that are in the DFW area as to why y'all didn't go. What? What? Why did y'all not go to this? So we got uh, a lot of uh, questions answered technically in this there's a lot of people saying you could buy a yearly subscription on flow for what it costs to get into the stands or get a family into the stands uh this is texas what do you expect should have said fend buggies and they would have come running but what do i know i moved out uh they're chasing things um let's see here a bunch of people uh this guy said landon have five people with them they came to the house to watch it on flow uh, crowds are smaller this time of the year. It's uh, a lot it's in, uh, changed in 40 years in Texas. I think they were expecting to pull a crowd from the NASCAR race today. Didn't happen. Somebody said Sunday. Um, uh, due to cost to get in, it was the main thing. Um, obviously, there's a lot of reasons it was Sunday. In Te- a lot of people are saying it's the money, the admission to get in, um, and that it was Sunday in Texas. And then down here, one of the promoters of the DFW area chimed in, in and said, uh, Doug Rollo, who's promoted racing down there for as long as you can think of. Uh, it saddens me to see a low fan count. All I know is that if we do not support this kind of special event show, there will be no need for flow racing or any of the others because tracks cannot afford to host them. Now, apparently this show was a little bit different on the setup. I think the track did get something in the streaming aspect of things, which is a big deal because obviously Sunday night, nobody else is racing. Everybody's watching. Uh, and it was a new track, a lot of entry, things of that sort. Now, there was some people who came in here a little bit mad that I even put a post up, which is insane, uh, that they, they they said that this post, me saying, you know, pointing out this crowd at RPM, you know, pointing out the obvious, you know, w- what's the deal, basically trying to get some responses. Uh, you had Jason Finley, who is the Finley Farms, uh, of of Kyle Larson coming here and, and say, and you wonder why you get no media credentials. And, that's, and obviously it was liked by Jay Baxter and Shane Stewart. So we got the click involved. Uh, I said, exactly. I don't suck it. I speak freely. To me, it's an amazing trade. Keep your free pit pass, which is basically what a media credential is. A simple post like this restricts my ability to get media credentials. They can keep their egotistical power tripping based credentials to themselves. No respect for the Constitution deserves no respect for me. Uh, this other guy said, 
uh, Chaz Media's propaganda. You might be the Alex Jones erasing, but look what they did do to him and everyone else like him. That's the price you pay for free speech. You're finding it out it ain't free. And then I came in here. I mean, I still don't get that reference, but that's fine if people want to hate. I said, I honestly don't see the Alex Jones reference here. My intent is from the Doug Rolo perspective. I have an issue with one of the biggest series out there at an action-packed track not being able to pull a crowd. The intent of this post is to get the conversation going on what caused it to happen, which we got some answers. Obviously, just read them out. For this type of post, and this is a very interesting point, for this type of post to pose any threat to acquiring media credentials to racing events is not a matter of disrespect. In that case, it comes across as a matter of shameful egos that don't want to think of the problems at hand and figure them out. That's my point. There's nothing about this post or its content that wasn't explanatory except this comment here, which is why I'm addressing it. It's a, it is a huge, uh, well, I had a typo there. I just said it is a huge issue. I put it's, is, it's, is, I'm getting all ghetto. It's, is a huge issue in the racing scene. It needs to be talked about. But anyway, uh, that, that's pretty much what these posts are about. I know, like I said, it, it seems to be ego when you you can't sit here and ask or put a post up recognizing the obvious, which the crowd at RPM, it was wow small. I'm sure a lot of people saw these drone pictures. You know, so I don't understand why these types of conversations are so offensive. And the only way they are is, that, like I said, shameful egos who just don't want to acknowledge the obvious and let's figure out why it happened. Now, all these damn reasons, in my opinion, as to why the RPM Speedway crowd was small, this 40 buck shit, and this Sunday, and it's Texas, is the exact same reasons why Finley Farm should be on other race cars. Because we have a big, big problem. We have a, This is a huge, huge problem. What, what, what just happened there was the exaggerated example, actually the realistic example, Example, I'm giving you not even exaggeration. The thing that happened there at RPM Speedway last night is the realistic example as to the problem with this sport. We don't have any fucking stars, guys. We're we're putting money into some stars that you think are cool because they graduated high school kitty league and went to NASCAR. You're not putting money or investments into making stars. You're 30 minutes 35 maybe minutes from 2.6 million people and you can't get 2,000 of them as the biggest dirt series in the world. You're trying to be, right? You're second. Well, let's just say World of Outlaws is 1A. You're fucking 1B. I've done the stats of that area. I think it's 8.6 million between Fort Worth and Dallas. You got 2.6. Let's just, I think it's a low number. I, I could go out and get the damn statistics right now, but I think it's 2.6 million people, and you can't get two or three or four or five. You can't, it ain't standing room only. Why? You got the best damn drivers in the world and the most difficult race cars there are to ever drive. Why is that? Oh, because they don't know any better. Because they don't know any better. But that's your big problem right there. Why do you have 2.6 million and you can't get 0.00001% of them to attend this amazing event at this amazing racetrack? Because you don't have any fucking stars that the world knows about. This is why sometimes I do come across disrespectful and we might be just a little bit because of Finley's comment because he supports the problem. Living in the shadow of fame That's what it is, living in the shadow of fame. You're all second fiddle behind the one star that runs it all. But at the end of the day, this is the big problem. And then, and then outside of no actual stars, this is why I say almost disrespectful. Some people think they're really big in the sprint car thing. But like uh, Chad Cox said, what did he say? Might as well called it, uh, where is it at? Let's get to the smart comment of the other situation. Might as well call it, call it finned buggies because of the relevance of buggies and fins. They might have think they was coming to see some kind of shark, potentially. Some kind of animal exhibit show. That would have got someone to show up for 40 bucks. And oh my God, this is... 
this is the other once again you're bigger than you're not as big as you think you are that's a big problem in trying to say that you got other issues as to why you're not because Kinzer and Swindell used to be that big you're not but anyway sprint cars ain't good for TV NASCAR is anyway four hours of boredom versus four hours of you know heat races and short attention span based events like heat races and dashes and all this stuff and 30 lap main events that's that, that that won't work for society no, no, no. Four-hour boring races that needs caution to even split them up as the winner. That's fine. Be an idiot. But anyway, not only is this disgustingness, and it's not RPM Speedway's fault. It's not High Limit's fault. There's some people who are responsible. Honestly, that, that, this guy might be it. The, the ones who support the, the, the manipulation, in my opinion. But another person to, or a group, to blame for this disgusting act that is happening on our sport that no one seems to care about in this in this scenario. You fucking fans are unbelievable sometimes. Now I know it's 40 fucking dollars, so I'm getting mad. Oh, we're, the F words are falling. I know it's $40. I know the world's coming to an end. 40 bucks. But I'll tell you what. One of you some bitches would have slap, uh, uh, you know, was uh, if one of you single some bitches out there would go to dirt tracks because once you get wiped up, we don't see you anymore. If you would have swiped right on a girl on a Tinder date, you would have went to a damn movie theater and a dinner that would have cost you two hundred and fifty or three. And, and at the same damn time, forty bucks, guys. The best race car drivers in the world at that action-packed racetrack you know is down the road ain't worth 40 bucks. So how can I sit here and be mad at the world for not respecting our own damn sport when you don't either? Not worth 40 bucks. $75 to park to watch the Dallas Cowboys. To park. But that's why I say it goes back to status, what people respect, what, what's cool. Is it cool to say I went to the dirt track? Some of you feel embarrassed. But that's back to the manipulational ploy on society that I've been trying to talk about for six years that no one cares. I guess you just keep getting these examples and saying it's okay. We're trying. We're doing what we can. Fuck it. Let's not attack the root of the cause. Let's just pick some leaves. You got the F1 of dirt down the street. From 2.6 million people. Hold on, let me make sure. Let me just, let me, let me, man, I know I, I did not mean to, to spur off. Population of Dallas, Texas. 1.3, sorry. 1.3 million. 1.3. It was off. 2.6. I thought it was 2.6. It must be a DFW that's a little. Um, for worth. I thought it was. Let's see here. Do do do. Real quick. A little bit of 7.64 million. Wasn't too far off there. I think I said eight. So that's how many people are in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, which which this occurred 30 minutes away from Dallas and probably 45 to an hour away from Fort Worth. Now, obviously, there was a race at, at, at Texas Motor Speedway. But there's a lot of people out there who think NASCAR is boring. And there's a lot of people out there that you could sell this dirt uh, racing thing on based on them thinking NASCAR is boring. Here's something different. Here's something new, fast, exciting. No, they're not high school level drivers. Just because Larson and them came from a sprint car at 14 don't mean these are the failed drivers of the racing world driving these, you know, caskets with wings. No, there's ways to appeal to 7.4 million to get that 0.00001% or the 1.3 million. What do we need to do the percentages on what two or 3,000 is to 1.3 million? That wasn't even counting the suburbs. This kind of is, I think, the Metroplex. I should have put Dallas Metroplex because it's pretty big. You got a lot of suburbs around there with a lot of people. So anyway, once again, how can I blame society when, I, when 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 the fans don't even respect the damn sport? Saying forty bucks is too much. Oh my! Got a fan base issue. Oh, why is that? Oh, interesting. Just interesting. But you don't want to expand. That's fine. You don't. You, this, these are the problems here. These are the real issues. 
you know, if, if the fan base you got right now ain't supporting you, ain't seeing you as worth 40 bucks for the best that you got to offer, maybe you need to get some, oh my God, ever heard of them? New fans that ain't ever heard of you before. Oh my God, that's too scary. Don't go outside from the wooded areas to the world. <sighs> Anyone's down in these rooms. I'm trying to make a pass pass on your ass I don't give a damn, I just throw it up Dirty bird dirt track and getting crunk Thinking I can make it work, but it don't